toxin on the movement of molecules. The Sharpie permanent marker is containing ink which is non-water soluble, which means it will not wash away with water. But with the, with the substance rubbing alcohol, it will not wash away the ink, it will move, it'll move the molecules around, therefore creating a tight end design. The first step is to take your white shirt, cotton, put it on top of a cup. Once you have done that, you will choose the colors you want to use on your tie-dye shirt. After you've drawn the design you have desired, use 50 or 70% rubbing alcohol and pour it in either a water bottle or a dropper. Both we'll work the same. All with a hole in the top, all you need you're to do fine. is put holes in the top. So, the, so that's the rubbing alcohol. See through. Don't put too much in, or it will look too it'll look watery. In less than a minute, your shirt will spread out, and you will see the design. If you put too much, then it'll spread out way too much, and then the colors will look either faded, or it'll, or it'll hold. And if you add too little, it won't do anything. Like, as you can see on this circle, it's not spreading out as much as this. So, I'll, yeah, I'm just going to add a bit there. This, please. There. And then you can put whatever sections of the shirt you desire, and you do, and if you want, you can add more as much colors as you like. It, this experiment works with big markers or sharpen markers. But they must be permanent. Because? And after you're done with your beautiful shirt, you can wash it and you can wear it. So. It is suggested that you wash that you wash it and you soak it in a salt water substance and then you put it in the dryer to let the colors set. This works to help lock in the colors.